Hey all, this is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time we're going to talk about how to add a unit into an existing stack. So in this case it's a stack of ICX 7250s um, and we have a pair of 24 port PoE switches and so we've just gone out and bought a 48 port and we want to add it into that existing stack with the least amount of disruption. Um, so well clients are on it and it's still flowing we are going to add a new device. So we'll have a look at our existing stack. So we have stack unit one, which is currently our active controller, and we are locally connected to that device. And we have unit two, uh, which is a standby and it's remote, so we're not connected to it. And if we look at the cabling infrastructure, so it's a closed loop, it's a um, full loop uh, stack. Um, so port one slash two slash one is connected to two slash two slash three and then one slash two slash three is connected here to two slash two slash one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the cables. Um, so I only, in a two unit stack, I only have two cables of course. Um, and so I need to add another cable and move some existing cables. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm adding a new cable into our new unit. Okay, and so on the console, we're going to see that that you know one of the one of the cables went down, and if I do just show stack again, it's going to show me that I'm now missing that loop, right? So I, I had the closed loop before. I'm now missing it because the unit in the middle is not in a stacking configuration yet. So what I'm going to do is a uh, stack secure setup. And what you'll notice is I'm not in config T, right? Um, so it's going to go out and it's going to discover the stack topology. So here we see the upstream units. We see unit two one hop away and then two hops away. We see a new device, which is a 7250-48P. Downstream, we see one hop away. We see our new um, 7250-48P. And you can see the MAC address matches on both sides. So we know this is the same unit. Um, and then two hops away, we see the 7250-24P, so the existing unit two. Okay, um, so then it's going to show you that it's going to number that new unit number three. We already had a one and two, so it's going to number it three. And then it says, do you want to accept those? We could say no, and we could change those numbers if you want. But, um, you know, best practice is just to let it let it choose those unless you have a very specific reason to, to uh, number them. And you can go in and renumber them later if you wish. So we'll accept that. It's going to run the election, um, and there's there's no reason for it to change from an election perspective, right? It's still the highest priority. Um, the ports are going to go up, and then what it's going to do is it's uh, it's actually going to reboot that third unit. So it's it's going to erase the configuration off the third unit and reboot it as you hear the fans kick up as it's rebooting right now. So. You're not going to see anything in this show stack yet until this is done rebooting. Um, and the same thing in the show run. So the show running configuration is still only showing me my unit one and unit two. Um, but as soon as that device is done booting up, then those are going to show up both in the uh, in the unit configuration, uh, in, the, in the running configuration, I should say, as well as the show stack. And what you need to do after that is you need to do a write memory uh, on the active controller in order to keep those changes. But really that's all there is to it. So we just need to wait for that device to reboot and then you should have a uh, fully working stack. Okay, so that's it for today and uh, thanks for joining.